Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Resident Evil Director's Cut for the Sony PlayStation. I'm Samurai TX and I'm Salt Snake. And this is brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Last time we left off, we um, began the story as Chris Redfield and picked up a lot of keys. Well, just one key, the armor key. And um, we picked up um, some ammunition and whatnot and shot some zombies. Now we're going to change our costume. Oh, and take this green herb with us, because why not? I think we're going to need it anyway, just in case we get hurt on our way. So let's keep the green herb with us. I'm back recording on this channel, because, well, last week I spent it um, healing a back injury. So now my back is fine, I'm back to recording to full schedule on the much games and well in the process of um, being festive i've decided to take an arnold schwarzenegger approach on both my channel and this channel as you can see i'm shooting zombies on this channel and on um my channel i'm playing time crisis rescuing the president's daughter so i've decided to take a that kind of approach to it so we're gonna be um looking for this key which is right here Oh, we got zombie trouble. Get away from me. Ah! Ah! Get off me! Headshot. Double kill. I knew I'd need that herb eventually. Ha! What double kill. After being eaten, no less, but at least we scored a double headshot. Nice shot, Samurai. Thank you. Right. We're in here now. And we are going to light this candle. For specific reasons. I think there's something in here. Yes, there is. There's ammunition. And of course we're going to take it, because that's the only gun we currently have. Now we're going to push this wardrobe out of the way. Because I believe that this is the room where you find the key. And the answer is yes, because we've got a mansion key. And what key is it? I think it's the sword key. But just for reassurance, let's check what it is. It's a sword key. So, now that we have the sword key, we are out of here. Not yet, because Chris likes to run round the door. But hey, S don't worry, Snake, we will be safe. Look at that handprint of blood there. It must have been Richard's blood. Not my blood, anyway. Barry would probably think it's Chris's. Because we Barry's nowhere to be found at the moment. And I'm not going to buy one bit of Barry being dead, because in Jill's scenario, he's alive. So Barry's not dead. Right, while we're at it, let's go and change our costume now that we've got the sword key. We did take some damage, which is, um, which was expected, to be honest, of me to take that much damage. But I didn't expect to score double headshot on them zombies, but double kill, indeed. Before we um, go and change the costume, which is um, in the brown door there, we're going to open the um, blue door here because of the fact that, well, it needed the sword key. You have used the sword key. Uh, let's get the map while we're at it, actually. Might as well. Do, do, do. Come on. There we go, Chris. You got some strength. This was before Chris was on steroids. Look at him, he's so skinny and puny. But he was still a badass in this. I can't believe that they took the steroid approach to Chris Redfield in Resident Evil 5. That look is completely ridiculous. In 6, they toned him down just a bit. But 5, wow. He took an ultimate transformation. It really was ridiculous. On Code Veronica, look how um, he looked well built for his size. He did look ridiculous. And then, like, you play Resident Evil 5, which was his next game, because he wasn't in any other Resident Evil after Code Veronica. And then you see this steroid beefed up dude. And you're thinking, wow, you're not Chris Redfield. I took that herb because, well, I got bitten earlier. And we're going to put this one in the safe. Before we do that, let's go in here. And change our costume. Ah, this one, indeed. There's one outfit that fits you perfectly. Will you change your outfit? Yes. And excuse the glitch which is right over here. 
Don't worry too much about it. Just a moment. I found something. It's powerful, especially against living things. Snake stole the quote, but Snake couldn't have said it any better. Bye, zombie. We're not coming back to see you. So now that Chris has changed his costume, he's got a um, bulletproof vest on. I don't think that does any help to make his health go down. I think it's still the same, even though if he gets bitten. Now what we're going to do is actually go to the save room. So let's go this way. Because I think this is the nearest save room either way. And I'm, now that I've unlocked that door, I believe we can get the shotgun as well now, which we will do. So let's go this way. Sounds good to me. Alright. The dog should appear right now. This is always going to be an iconic scene because of the fact that when you first play it, you just see the dogs jump out the window and it scares you. But these days, if you've played it as much as I have, it doesn't scare you as much. Green herb. You have used the armor key. And officially, the armor key is useless, apparently, because every Resident Evil character knows when the key is useless. Don't get that logic, really, but it is what it is. Now let's pick up this herb. And we are going to say yes to taking the herb. Don't know why it asks us that stupid question. Now we're going to go this way. Continue going this way. We're going to open the door. Finally, we can go this way. And no, I'm not going to run straight into the Crimson Head Zombie. The way I did when I was Jill when I was on Danger. Because that was funny as hell. I was I panicked because I thought I was going to die there. Because I literally ran into the zombie. You <laughs> go and watch that. I'm pretty sure the Much Games will add that in a montage next time. If they ever do one. But either way, all of us have got a moment in our montage, you know. For this channel. We've all had silly moments from the Much Games when we do Let's Plays. Right, we're going to... Do we need the um, light? Oh, no, we don't. We've done it already for the map. Have we? You know, let me check just in case. I might be wrong. For now, let's take out the broken shotgun because we need the shotgun. Now that we've unlocked that door with the sword key, might as well um, carry this um, carry the broken shotgun. Let's see if we got the um, map. Fud, 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 fud. Chris, Chris really walks very heavy-footed. No wonder why zombies and other things spot him so quickly. Is it this room? No, it's not even this room. Silly me. Open the door. And let's get out. Go this way. Oh, no, we haven't, because that zombie's here. Hello. Oh, boy. Wait, why, where are you going? Oh, there you are. Come on. One, two, three... Four. Let's reload. Ah, oh, you're not dead. Get up. Now you're dead, actually. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Ah, here we are. Nope, I told you I was right. We never use the lighter for this room. You can't use it. I'm in front of it, though. Alright, let's do it again. Thank you. I'm very pleased you helped me out here. Right. Let's take the map of the second floor. Thank you. And let's pick up this herb. We won't be back in this room for quite a while. So, might as well take it. And run around this way. That room needs the, um, the other key to open it. I think it's the helmet key, to be exact. Now we can drop the lighter, because we don't need it anymore, because we've already used it for the candle and the uh, um, map. So let's leave and go to the save room. I'm going to keep the broken shotgun, though, for now, until we need it. Chris doesn't have a cutscene when um, he picks up the broken shot um, the shotgun and doesn't use the thing like Jill does. You know, the Jill sandwich quote. Yeah, Chris doesn't have a cutscene like that, so yeah, I'm not going to try and risk anything. Right, drop those two items, and then leave. And then we're going to go pick up some ammo in the rooms, and the herbs, and the chemicals. We're going to have to keep backtracking because of the fact that Chris 
only has little space. Jill has eight, so we wouldn't we didn't do as much backtracking. But with Chris, you've got to do a lot of that. Not gonna run into that zombie. Right, let's open the door. And we're gonna go in this room first. Yes, I think this is the shotgun room. Let's see. Yes, it is. And good thing it's not glitchy. Because when I used to play it on the old emulator, it was glitchy. I don't think it was glitchy on my previous Let's Play. But on others, it is. Right. Let's dispose of this zombie. Third shot. Thank you. And we will take the legit shotgun. And then, in its place, we are going to use the broken shotgun. Right, come on. Oh, can't just walk out the door. But at least we scored a hurt shot before we left. Yeah, that was pretty that was pretty awesome. Seems we're scoring headshots in this level of the game. Right. There's ammunition in that bathroom, isn't there? Yep. Your memory's pretty good, Snake, even though you weren't there when I was playing it. No, but I remember. Don't forget about the zombie. Yeah, I know. Hello. See, unlike unlike Chris, Jill scored a headshot to that zombie. He ain't dead. Get up. Whoa. Sit down. There. We only got one more bullet left. Right, let's hope this thing's dead. Yes, it's dead. Wait, can we empty out the water here? I don't think you can. No, you can't. Okay. Let's go back to that room. Shall we? Yes, we are, because we're going to drop the shotgun, actually. So, we're going to go back here. We'll pick up the chemicals and whatnot um, after we um, drop the shotgun shells. And what we're going to do is shoot this zombie. One. I think it's angry now. And that's what we get. <laughs> Ah dear, that that was my um, that was my served you right moment because I should never have attacked that zombie. You got its revenge, but don't worry, we will get it get our own back when um, we face it officially. Drop the shotgun. I believe um, that we forgot to pick up the emblem in the dining room. Actually, don't worry about that. We will do it in the next video. Yeah, we will. But for now, we're just going to pick up the chemicals and the other green herbs. Yeah, sounds like a better idea. Alright. Don't, don't shoot that zombie again. Don't forget there's two of them there. Yeah, I saw the hands. Alright. We're going to go to that door where um, the armor key was. Once Chris stops running into the wall. And it's this door. We won't visit this room ever again once we pick up everything here. Hello, doggy. Uh, I think I made it angry. Uh oh. Right, shoot. Shoot. Two shots. Wow, that's two shots, and Chris wasted the dog. This one's on its third shot. Four. Okay. Five. Wow. Six shots. Unreal. That dog took eight shots to die. That is unreal. Can't believe it. The other one took two, while the other dog took um, bloody eight. Plus, I, mi I missed one. That's why I said eight. Took seven shots to die, but I lost eight on the dog. Right. Let's combine... Actually, you know what? let's use one and uh, pick this one. Pick up this. Yep, we're gonna take it. Then we're gonna pick this up. Oh wait, we can't pick it up, idiot. Right, we're gonna combine it and then combine them again. Yeah, we got enough green herbs in our um, deposit box as it is anyway. So a combination won't hurt, because we always end up with a lot in hand anyway. So, um, yeah, we're not going to come back here. Now that we got everything. Let's exit. Leave two dead dogs here, and leave that dog alone to 
feed on the dead dog's corpses. Sounds like a nice dinner for the dog, doesn't it? Yeah. Even they're both they're dead either way, they're infected, so I doubt it would um, harm the dogs. And we're going the wrong way. We will eventually waste those dogs to get the ammunition that's on underneath the um the um the the um what do you call it? Um the chest of drawers. I'm just gonna call them the drawers. Underneath them you have to push it, so yeah, eventually we'll pick up the ammo underneath it. But for now, we're not going to. We're going to end the video, actually. It feels good to record this game again, though, for sure. Especially after my um, weak injury layoff. I feel good recording again. So, um, expect about three videos before the Christmas. Drop the mixed herbs and drop the herb. Oops, not replace it, but... Mm, that's it. So... When we come back, folks, we'll play more Resident Evil Director's Cut. Until then, until then, thank you for watching. We will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.